Good evening and thank you for joining us. We begin with those two murders in Butler County. Tonight, the sheriff mm -hmm. says some sort of criminal business activity likely led to the murders and a two hour hostage standoff mm -hmm. in Trenton. Nine on your side's Tom McKee joins us now live with the new information that we are learning tonight. Tom. Well, Tuesday and Wednesday were very violent days here in Butler County. There were two homicides, one in Madison Township, the other in Trenton. Three people held hostage to two hour standoff with the SWAT team and shots being fired at deputies. Butler County Sheriff Richard Jones says things were tense throughout the entire ordeal as his deputies worked to make sure the situation could end safely. Butler County investigators say 45 year old James Duran is responsible for the deaths of two women. Megan Motter, a business associate, and Sharon McCleary, the mother of his girlfriend. We think we may have a motive. We don't know that. I can't release that at this time. The investigation is still going on. Sheriff Richard Jones says Motter's body was found in Madison Township on Tuesday night. He was careful in talking about how she knew Duran. Just a business associate. They were in business together. It's not a kind of a business that like the Better Business Bureau. Uh, it was a business of activity, uh, maybe let's say like criminal activity business. The discovery of Motter's body led police to Trenton and an apartment on Sal Boulevard. That's where Jones says Duran took three hostages, his girlfriend, her sister, and their mother. Duran fired at deputies, retreated into the house, a SWAT team was called, and then he said he'd surrender. The standoff lasted two hours, and finally a door opened, but just for a split second. At that point, he immediately Push the door closed. We tried to make entry at that time. Then we heard gunfire. It appeared there was two shots fired immediately as we were trying to make entry. The sheriff said Jones finally gave up and came outside, but shot himself in the face. As he was leaving the scene, he was talking, believe it or not. He wasn't talking real plain, but he was talking. Remember, he took a gunshot to the chin up close to here. Now charges are pending in this case. Duran is currently at Miami Valley Hospital in Dayton expected to survive the injury that he inflicted upon himself Wednesday around noon. Tom McKee, not on your side, live in Hamilton. 